CataractCoach.com Resident Case 25 Evaluation. Let's come together to give advice to this young surgeon doing divide and conquer for case number 25 of the career. Now, here we go. Sitting superiorly. Looks like pretty reasonable draping. You've got the overlay to show you the eye here. And now paracentesis. That's a little bit too big of a blade for a paracentesis. I'd try a smaller blade. And let's see, going inside the eye with some viscoelastic. Probably had a retrobulbar block, I'm guessing, for case 25. Now, let's see. How about the main incision? Now, pit, pinching there with the forceps, getting an incision, which looks okay, a little short maybe. Oh, look at the bleeding. You grab the conjunctiva with the forceps, and you got some subconscious hemorrhage. Now, hey, let me tell you about retinarounds.com. You're a young ophthalmologist. You're learning. You want to become a better surgeon. You want to learn about everything in the eye. You got to check out retinarounds.com. It has launched today. It's a website, retinarounds.com. Sign up for the free daily email. Plus, on top of that, youtube.com slash at retinarounds. Now, that was a really good rexus. For case number 25, that's really, really good. Now, see the incision there? It's a little bit too avascular for me, but it's not bad at all. It's a reasonable incision. I turn off your overlay here. You don't need this overlay right now. There's no point in having it on the entire case. It's just going to make you distracted. So, again, I would turn off the screen overlay at this point. You don't need it on. Like right now, you're trying to divide this nucleus up. Why do you need to see where the 61-degree axis is? You don't. Turn off that overlay. You should have a button on your foot pedal or on your microscope. Here's the groove down the middle. Try to get the eye in primary. See the light reflexes are not quite in the center. You want the eye to stay in primary. You want to float within the incision with your instrument here. Eye in primary. That's an issue right here. So, okay, there's a rotation here. Where's your second hand? What are you doing with the left hand? I see the right hand is doing this. Okay, where's the left hand? Yes, the video is sped up because we know cataract coach fans, you don't want to sit through a 25-minute video. So I want to speed it up so you can show you the whole case here. Okay, now we're going in with the second hand. And let's see what we're doing here. Splitting the nucleus. That's pretty. This is you got really good skills for 25 cases in. You've obviously practiced a lot. But you need to put in a little more effort on the important things, which would be, in this case, keeping the eye more in primary. Don't have the eye dance around so much. But look at that. And then keep your other hand in the eye. You have an extra incision. You've got two hands. Why not use two hands at all times? Like right now, I'd love to protect the capsular bag with my second hand. Now, obviously, I know you're at the mercy of your attendings and your professors. If your professor tells you, no, do it my way, then you, you do it that way. Remember, when you're a young trainee, do it the way you're taught by your faculty members. And each faculty member may teach you differently. And then finally, once you've got enough experience, then decide what you want to do your own way amalgamate the experience, change it up, do whatever you think is best for you. But here, good cleanup. Listen, this is case 25. It really is 25. You are doing fantastic. You have great hands. My advice is just focus on the little things. You don't need that big subconscious hemorrhage. The draping could be a little bit better. The incision is a little bit short. You don't need the overlay on the entire case. You need to keep the eye primary during nucleus removal and cortex removal. You need to do all these little steps to make yourself a better surgeon here. Again, don't ever worry. Ah, uh, there you go. Now, now, okay, I believe it's case 25. Now, you saw that? You missed the eye with the injector. That's okay. You can reload the lens. No big deal. So, again, that's probably from the, the, the saying we have in English. Haste makes waste. You're trying to hurry up. You end up being more wasteful. You, you, you're slower by trying to hurry. You want to be more efficient? That, by, that comes by slowing it down and being more meticulous. Again, here, you want to be careful. Get that lens in the bag. Okay, that's helpful. Now let's get it rotated around. Pupil came down a little bit. And now, is it a toric lens? Or are you trying to get it rotated to the correct meridian? I can't quite tell. Maybe you are. All right, you got to move viscoelastic too. Don't forget that. And again, I want to encourage you, use both hands inside the eye. You have two hands. Use both hands. It's going to make life a lot easier for you if you use both hands. Like here, you can lift up the lens, go behind it, move this glass. Yeah, it's a torque lens for sure. It's not appropriately lined up just yet. But here's where you want to go behind the optic and remove this glass. If you're going to use a torque lens, which is kind of early in your career for a torque lens, you need to be able to go behind the optic and remove this glass. I don't like that, to be frank. Whoa, whoa, whoa with the hydration. Easy. You're in the visual act. How much are you going to hydrate? Oh my goodness, stop with the hydration. Look at that, it's in the red reflex. Your hydration's in the red reflex. No, 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 no. This is, we gotta go work on some basics. You have amazing hands. You could be an amazing surgeon, but please slow it down, be more meticulous. Ask yourself, what could you do better at every step of the procedure? This patient will have good vision in like a week or two, but what's with that corneal hydration, really? So I think you're great, you're fantastic. 
but put in the basic efforts to go back and do the easy steps. Hey, and remember, you got to sign up for CatalCoach.com, the free daily email, as well as RetinaRounds.com, the free daily email. You're going to learn a lot, and you're going to love it.